Okay, so we're going to try and make this model in A3. I've made it before in A4, which produces a model uh, this size. But we're going to see if we can get a, a bigger one in A3. So here it is printed uh, black and white on A3 paper. First thing to do is cut it out. Cut it out with scissors or a knife. Here I'm using a snap-off knife. Uh, cutting mat and a metal ruler. Important to use a metal ruler with some kind of um, rubber or some kind of friction material on the back to stop it from slipping. It's a simple model to cut out, only one part to it. And then the next thing to do is to fold it. So, the first fold, let's just trim this bit off here. So the first fold is uh, what we call a mountain fold, this line in the middle. And a mountain fold just means it folds upwards like that, like a mountain. And I'm going to use this tool, uh, which is a folding tool. I don't know if you can see it. It has a ball bearing on the end, ball bearing of different sizes. Um, and that just helps to weaken the fibres in the paper which makes it easier to fold so it's helpful when making this kind of model it's not entirely necessary you can just use a fingernail um, or something else with a rounded end for the first fold well you can just do it by eye the paper's very thin um, so the first fold does that which creates a, a strip uh, and then the next folds are these lines here to make the triangles. So again, I'm going to use this folding tool just to help us locate each fold and weaken the fibers just so they're going to uh, fold. They're going to fold each way eventually um, in order to create the unfolding action of this model. But when we first do it, we'll just fold them one way. Okay. So now, just as carefully as possible, we want to fold them onto each other so that they end up with a single triangle with no overlaps. If there are overlaps then it's going to be very difficult to make the final hexagon that we need. Okay, there we are. So that's the triangle we should end up with. And we open it up and now we want to make our hexagon. Uh, now the hexagon is um, folded according to these instructions. So these instructions printed on here. Uh, we look for the um, illustrations here. So that one folds on top there. And then look for the other one. That one folds on top there. And that's nearly our hexagon. By looking at the rest of the model, we can see that these two flaps are going to be glued together. And there's also another flap here that needs gluing. So there's four flaps. And just by playing around um, it, it becomes pretty apparent which which ones need gluing together. So just to save my cutting mat, I'll 
flue on the uh, back of this. Okay, that's one. carefully as possible. Again we just want the triangles to sit as near exactly on top as possible. There. That's the first one done. Now we just got to move these together. So this glue I'm using, stick glue, of course there's lots of different types, um, it's perfect for this, it's very quick, it's very strong, uh, it doesn't create any mess. So there we are, that's the finished model, um, as you can see it's quite a bit bigger than the A4 one, and the way to open it, um, first of all we know that this is the front, because the image is uh, complete. If we look at the back, then the image is incomplete, or it doesn't match up. So we know this is the front. We've just got to find the way of opening it. So it helps to maybe refold everything a couple of times, uh, just so that these joints are nice and flexible. then it should open. So that's the first image, the brain, the second image, the synapse, sorry, the second image, the neuron, the third image, the synapse, and then after that we'll go back to the brain. So if possible, um, the, the model works slightly better in in A3 because it's bigger and, and leaves makes it easier to you know colour in the images uh, once you've made the model.